We're here checking on this air conditioner uh, with Tony, our senior technician. Tell us, Tony, what are you doing? I'm checking this capacitor right now, making sure that it's to manufacture specifications. Uh, apparently this one's no good anymore. So they're gonna have to replace it now than later if they're gonna want their air conditioning to work over the summer. Perfect, so how do you measure, how do you test those to make sure that they're working or not? Uh, we have a meter device right here. We set the, the meter to, to microfarads and then we read the microfarads on the capacitor. Make sure before you re, uh, touch this, you grind it out because they do fully charge. All right, let me take a look at that. This one's reading zero right now because it's no longer any good. Perfect. So, so you replace it. good deal. So, uh, if that part is bad, do you carry those with you? Is that a special part or what? No, what? these capacitors are no special parts. They're pretty typical. Uh, we usually have them fully stocked in our vehicles at all times. So, if they do break down and need one, we have it in stock. Perfect. You you mentioned that the unit was. Uh, doing like a short cycle what, what does that mean uh, short cycling means that the, maybe the temperature is reaching temperature to the thermostat or that they possibly have low insulation in the attic so that meaning that as soon as the temperature reaches the set point and as soon as the system turns off then you know the system turns back on again because all the heat's not getting stored inside the house perfect so as a homeowner how do i know the unit short cycling and how does how does it affect me uh, you'll notice your system kick off and on more. You hear it on and off. Like right now, it just did it right now. So uh, I'll let the homeowner know that, hey, your system is, is um, source cycling. You might want to check your filters. You want to check out your condenser fan, your evaporator coil, condenser coil, and stuff like that. Perfect. So I, I also heard that uh, when the unit uh, short cycles, is, is that true that my uh, energy bill can kind of show the uh, the pain or something? Yes, it can, especially during the day when, you know, the houses use more energy bills since sometimes people stay home and they're using their washer and dryer, their AC, TVs, computers, etc. Uh, you'll notice your PG&E spike a little bit more, especially when, when you're trying to turn on your AC and you're trying to cool it down 10 degrees like that, then you notice your PG&E will run longer than anticipated. Perfect, perfect, Tony. So, um, so then basically if if anybody hires you to do a maintenance service on the unit then you can tell uh in uh you can prevent issues such as high electricity bills just by inspecting and checking the unit is that what you're saying yes it's preferred to recommend to to do your maintenance every twice a year one for the heating and one for the summer so you know preventing any major breakdowns this is why we come out here and, and fully check everything perfect perfect so you heard it uh, Tony's in the house. He knows what's going on. Give us a call. Get our mark.